Welcome everyone to a brand new streaming series. I am your host, Ultra Director Jester. Welcome to Baldur's Gate 3. And this is a game that has won Game of the Year for 2023 in a year that is absolutely stacked with excellent games. And I figured, you know, hey, this is Game of the Year, I, I wonder why that is. So I picked it up and realized, oh, this is why. And then played a bit more. Oh, that's why. And then I lost a lot of time to this game already. So, let's go ahead and start a brand new adventure. Let's go. We're going to start a brand new game just for this. Ugh. That's dire. All right, new game. I'm just going to go with explorer mode so we don't run into any huge roadblocks here. I'll also try and keep saves coming to a bare minimum here. Ah, yes, this is my viewing platform for all the latest movies. Howdy, Vi. Welcome to the stream. Would you like a Werther's original? I don't either. Like, I only found out about, like, a few months ago that Baldur's Gate is actually... A city? Not like a gate to hell, as I thought. Uh, it's on PC, PS5, and Xbox now. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh ah, ah! Like, I'm dead. That thing goes into my eye, I'm fucking dead. T oh, t oh, not me, I don't want- t t I don't want one of those, ah, oh, come on! She can take one for me. I t no, wait, stop. No, wait, no, stop. Ah! Well, that was harrowing. How are you? Welcome back. Is it? Let's not worry. I'll keep the tutorials as they are. All right. So we can either make our own custom character or choose one of the uh, many. Wonderful characters from the land of Baldur's Gate. Well, I'm gonna go with a custom character here. Yeah, they're not uh, Cthulhu's, they're Mind Flayers. We're dealing with them here. Okay. What kind of body type should I go with? Uh, I guess I'll go with that one. Okay, race. I came into this wanting to play as a dragonborn. Because there's like so many other games where you can, when you play as a dragon, like, oh, you're you're human most of the time, or oh, only you can only use your dragon powers once a day or whatever. But here, I'm a straight up dragon. Not a lizard, a dragon. So we're gonna go for it. Uh, sub race, we got black, blue, brass, bronze, copper, gold, green, red, silver, and white. I do like the white. But I also like the silver. I don't know. I like this uh, pale pink color he's got going on. And he gets frost breath. I'll go with that. Alright. Uh, class. I'm thinking monk. I could go for Paladin, but that's not the kind of character I'm going for here. Yep, Monk, monk is the way to go. Absolutely Monk. 
A Dovahkiin Dragonborn Monk. Perfect. So, uh, background. Soldier, Sage, Outlander, Noble, Guild Artisan. <laughs> Um, folk hero, entertainer, criminal, charlatan, acolyte. What else we got? Uh, urchin. Hmm. Well, let's see. We'll go with sage. We'll be ever hungry for knowledge of the world around us. To find out more about the world of Faerun and Baldur's Gate. So to speak. All right, abilities, dex dexterity, and constitution. Sounds about right. Yeah, we could probably bump down the charisma a little bit and up our strength a little bit. That won't be too bad. Can I put another? I can't put another into that. Huh. Oh well, one in there. Well, that'll, that'll do, I think. What about skills? Acrobatics is through the roof. Uh, religion, uh, you know, a monk who's not very good at religion. That's hilarious. And inside... Uh, da, da, da. Right, we'll try and be the most atheistic monk ever, and we won't really investigate too many things. Just kind of play it by ear as we go along. All right, now for the... Uh, for the good old-fashioned changing up the face. First, the voice. Hmm. What was that? Let's hope the locals are friendly. Hells, something just woke up down here. Be wary. This place is trapped. It's opened. I so, wonder what's back there. I wonder what's back there. It could be anything. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. I can feel its aura. Oh, dear. Where to? Hmm. What was that? Let's hope the look be where it's opened. I don't know, I might go for that voice. I wonder what's back there. I wonder what's back there. Could be anything. Might even be a dragon, like myself. I only get four faces. Let's see, I get... Duh. I think smoother head was the way to go here. These guys aren't exactly lookers. All right, top of the head. We got plenty of stuff for top of the head. Ooh, all my horns. All right. Ooh. It'd be like Satan here. Ooh, spiny. They look like I'm been, I've been calcified. <laughs> bald, just just bald. Ooh, like a. I like that. It's not bad. It's handsome and striking. That's okay. I want him to look evil, though. Yeah, a, a little bit Argonian. Ooh, I like the dreads, though. The dreads are pretty badass. Ooh. I don't like that headpiece, though. This looks cool, though. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with the frills. Alright, as for the chin, we can even choose our, our chin. That's cool. With a little spiked beard there, or like a little stalactite sticking out. What was that, jewel point? <laughs> it's like, what kind of goatee do I want to give him? Looks like a Zora from the older Zelda games. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Like an albino Zora of some sorts. I don't know, I like the spiky chin there. Kind of akin to my own beard. Jaw! Oh, wow. Oh, I like the stuff on the sides there. That's borderline clipping through his other frills. I don't think we should go for that one. It's appropriately spiky, yes. Dragon glass. Hmm. I want something a bit more uniform, I suppose. 
Oh, that's literally clipping through his frills. Hello, King Viper. Welcome to Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, I think this nest of needles is the best way to go here. There, look at him. Look at handsome. Tail style? I get a tail? Well, this whole Dragonborn business is getting better and better and better. I like having a little little thing on the end there, like a little lobster tail. Yeah, that's the way to go. Shows up the red part of our... Yeah. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Skin co Ooh. What kind of skin color should I choose? Ooh! Ooh! Oh. Oh! Oh, oh. oh no. Oh, you gave me so much choice. Oh, no. <laughs> <clears throat> well. What color should I make him, then? I mean, these purples are... Oh, tech. <laughs> That is offensively purple! <laughs> kind of like that color, though. I mean, it's a little not, a, not, as, not as vibrant. Hmm. I mean, we made him white for a reason, but... What else is there? Green's out. I don't like this gray. Blue is a little on the nose, I think. Gr Grimace! <laughs> well... I don't know. Oh, I kinda like that. Alright. We'll just stick with this. I mean, we got a white dragonborn off the... Oh, uh, genitals! Oh, yes. Need to remember to turn the nudity to off before we get started. Alright, now for the eyes. It's a lot of eye colors. Demonic white turns out to be purple. He looks like the creeper from Japer's Creepers. Really? Yes. Like the... <laughs> the front. That's kind of striking. Like, am I, are my eyes actually on fire and shit? Dude. Alright, let's get one of these uh, fire eyes here. I like the purple. Yeah, that's it. Heterochromia? Oh, why not? I never go for the heterochromia stuff, but why not? It's a new world. It's a new day. It's a new series. Like one purple eye and one like green eye or something, if I can do that. Yeah, there we go. It's like, this is my evil eye. Don't look into it. Piercings! Didn't know that a lizard could even get piercings, but hey, here we are. Lapis stud muffin. What did you... Oh, I put little jewels on my nose there. Ah. It's actually kind of cool. Dude. <laughs> Minotaur, you know, right there, yeah. That, I guess that is his nose, isn't it? I like these, uh, Chilton Serpents. I'll go with that. Eye makeup! Man! So much we can do with this character. That's striking. T I got punched in the eye. Alright, we'll go with, uh... I like that. 
And we'll make it blue to kind of match our markings. If we can. Yeah. Probably as good as I can do it. Tint intensity. Uh, lip tint. Don't know what you mean by that. You're talking about, like, Oops. Ah. That looks eight ways to terrible. Let's go ahead and take that all the way back down again. There we go. Alright, so I think this is our guy. This uh, lovely looking dragon is going to save the world somehow. But what do we call it? about, uh, Zealous Star. Why not? Zealous Star. Cool. All right, next, let's choose our guardian. Yeah, for story purposes, we need a guardian, and, uh, don't know what this means at first, but that's okay. Let's run the random gamut and see what we get here. Nothing really good. <laughs> hmm. Remarkable. Good luck. You know what? Sure. Let's go for it. Let's begin the adventure! Woo! Alright, I got a tadpole in my eye. Thanks. Not agonizing at all. Kind of comfortable, in fact. Thanks a lot. What's up, Josh? Welcome to Baldur's Gate 3. The adventure has just begun. You know, I think I kind of want an octopus warship. Is this game deserving game of the year? Um, I can see why it is. Like, I, like I'm, a, I'm, the, I'm of the mind that uh, 2023 was not... Like, there's no game of the year for 2023. 2023 is the year of the game. If only people can stay employed. Right? Yeah, so it's an octopus abducting warship. Wilhelm scream. So you think it should be a law that any and every dark fantasy RPG needs to involve a dragon in some way. I gotta say, opening up uh, Baldur's Gate 3 with an octopus warship and an attacking herd of dragons is pretty promising. Okay, now we're in the north. I really want to be a part of this Dragon Riders group. If they exist, I will be- I will be one. I want to ride dragons. I want to be part of the squad that attacks octopus airships with dragons. That's kind of cool. Uh, 
Uh, hey. How's it going? Wait, not in... Not in here. No! Well, exciting. Oh, I am unfortunately still alive. Oh, hi, girl from the box art. Hundreds of thousands of demons. I, this, this ain't looking good. Once again, unfortunately, it seems that we are still alive. Playing unconventional characters. My head. Oh. What the? This place is absolutely in shambles. Alright, escape the Nautilor. That sounds like an idea. What's this? This is the pool that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Ooh. Let's take a look at it. I can customize my dice to... Yeah, I'll make it blue like we are. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, hey, I made it. The casing is fragile. The slightest touch could cause it to crumble. Maybe I should reach towards it. Stop! Nice move, Zealastar. Right, well, we should probably get out of here. Ooh, a pearl. Yoink. Dead. Good. Yeah, Baldur's Gate 3 is based on uh, the latest edition of D&D. D&D 5, 5e. I tried playing the first uh, Baldur's Gate, but that's based on, I think, what, D&D 3.5 or something like that? And, uh, it's a bit too archaic for me, a bit too old. They started throwing terms like Thacko, I'm like, what? I don't... Gah. Now, you would think it'd be scary seeing a whole bunch of dragons here, but being a dragon myself, it's not as scary. Gonna get it up. Abomination. This is your end. How do I grovel? Throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Don't call it strange, it's not nice. What made you think I was a thrall? We carry mind flayer parasites. Oh. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be geich, mind flayers. But who are you? Who am I? Your only chance of survival. Hello, only chance of survival. We need to figure out where we are. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. 
Good First, point. Let's do that. Exterminate the units. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. Well, you got a plan, lady. Well, all right. It's time to fight. Did they get negative 20 initiative? Probably because it's the first fight. So I've played a lot of this game already. Like, I'm about to reach the end of the first act almost. So I kind of know how a lot of the uh, basics work here. This uh, works just like a typical tactical RPG, I suppose. Lock follows me everywhere. Yeah. I killed him right with one hit. Not bad, Zealous Star. I think we're gonna do well together. Victory awaits. All right, next, Lazel. Not no failure. There you go. Not bad. I think we've got this down pat. We're doomed. I want to run. Please help me. Help me. Here we go again. Yeah. You proved surprisingly adequate in battle. Now to the helm. Uh, where is the helm anyway? Where do we go? Yeah, hand axe. So it's nice. Ooh. Ship won't be able to take another dragon attack. We need to get out before it's too late. Ooh, gold. Get him. Ooh, another person to loot. Ooh. They've always got so much nice stuff when they die. That's nice. It's a lady who's in trouble. We have to save her. The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. Look at yourself, man. The ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? Absolutely. I'll look around. Try that contraption next to the pod. They did something to it when they sealed me in. Hurry! Please! What, this thing? The console appears dormant. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first, but then you spy an empty socket. Uh huh. Let's strike Nothing. it. Nothing. The console remains dormant. Well, then we're gonna find something to open this door. Socket must power this thing. This works out. Uh, a lot, if I had to hazard a guess. I think they're hunting people if I could hazard another guess. What the hell's this? Huh. I feel like I should take that. This might unlock those controls next to the pod. That might have been it, actually. As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. Uh, oh, oh, no, oh, oh, oh. That's a little screwed up, not gonna lie. We need to get out of here before it's our turn. Can I just leave you in there? Because I'd rather not fight you. 
Uh, yeah, you go down with the ship. Ooh, gold key. Gold key probably means something. I can unlock something, I bet. Okay, let's see here. The console appears dormant. Let's insert the rune of the socket. The console hums to life. But what is its purpose? Will it free the captain or transform her like that other unfortunate? Let's take a closer look here. I've got poor intelligence, but good arcana proficiency, so let's just see here. Carret! <laughs> the pulsing glow and organic I don't I know nothing else but what this device does. Heart than a machine. This device is different from the one that caused the other captive to transform. Perhaps it will open the nearby pod. Well, I'm into that. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. Ah! The parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. And open! Oh, come on, open! It's just a two! You can get a two, can't you? There you go. Well, almost, but there you It's an eight. There you go. your command and yield to it a shiver runs across your mind you feel sated yes i am sated what uh oh should have caught you sorry at last thought i was done for you're all right is mixed with wariness because you have a gith with you well, that's rude Keep dangerous company well, dangerous company is what you need in the fight well, did you feel it just now we were in each other's heads i did it must be because of those parasites they put in us they'll have to Our wait tadpoles handshake with each other first let me come with you we can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way all right then, let's get going. I'm Zetherstar. Shadowheart. One moment. Huh? What's that? It's nothing. Trust me. Enough of this chatter. We need to get to the helm. Now. She's right. Lead on. Huh? Don't gotta tell me twice. Let's go. How about these poor fools? The man isn't dead, but he's totally unresponsive. Oh, uh, we might as well be dead. What does this do? Uh... Can't read this script. Can't read that. Unleash. Can read that. Can't read that. What's this do? Machine made them hostile. Huh. Well, that ain't good. Let me go beat him up then. So I've done this uh, opening bit like about three or four times now, and each time has gone decisively different. So Shadowheart here is a mage, and she can use magic. Cantrips don't require any spell slots. You can just cast them at you know whatever you want. That's rude. That's very rude. I would appreciate you not do that anymore. Yeah, it's still not dead. It still can't hurt you. There's gotta be something here. Frost breath! I had to move. Damn it. Still some uh, quirks in the combat. A little, uh, you should know. Will you actually hit something? Come on, man. Uh -oh. 
Thank you. You guys better have some good gold and a quill. And a mug. This game does indeed have difficulty settings. We are on the easiest one, of course. They throw us a bone. We have two short rests. Basically, we can just take, we can use one of these per uh, long rest. Enough time wasted. And get a little bit of our health back. Very handy. Didn't even need it though, because we have restoration pods everywhere. The helm. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. King Yank. I don't call her a kind yank. That's not nice. I'm burning. Oh, because I touched that bit of fire floor. Here we go. Ridiculous. Uh oh! Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh. Yeah, he's out. The point of this uh, room is to just get to the very end, to this place over here. We get all the way over there, we win. We got 15 turns to do it. So uh, I'm gonna have uh, Zealastar take care of that. In the meantime, I'm gonna have Lazelle and Shadowheart take care of most of the heavy lifting. You bow or you break. There we go. Blood comes easy these days. I'm gonna have Zealastar dash. What dash means is that I don't do any actions, but I can run twice as far. Keep my distance from that battle. Another step forward. There we go. You do anything else? Doesn't seem like it. All right. Have to concentrate. Shadowheart, I will have you uh, step oh, this way. Do a little fireball to our friend, uh, Lesser Imp over here. There we go. Get a little more up if you want. These two are, uh, basically just taking care of each other. Why does an Imp have a crossbow? That's not, that's not nice. Alright. Now, I'm gonna have Lazelle move up a little bit. If I could have her get rid of this imp, that'd be nice. It's not exactly real-time strategy, but there is like a turn-based mode. Like, a, if I go here, I can turn turn-based mode off, but because I'm in active combat, I can't. So yeah, most combat is all turn-based. Still breathing. And kind Despite of like a more everything. analog uh, fire emblem, I suppose. Now have Alistair dash some more. Get ye gone. Just a step. But there's a cutscene! Hello, Dark Slayer. Doing pretty well today. Alright. We're still dashing. Yep, we're still dashing. So, let's get moving. Almost there. Just gotta get, like, right up here. Alright, Shadow Heart. Alright, Firebolt. I can reach most of these guys up here. So I wonder then if I can just make you dash the rest of the way. I think I will just do that. Okay. Oh yeah, get him, get him. How, how almost dead is he? Almost dead. Oh wait, that's that's the guy who we should probably avoid. Oh, jeez. Alright. I will have... Well, let's have you move up a little bit here. My path be true. 
go for a ranged attack. Can't do much. Can't That's even okay. catch my breath. I got plenty of turns to take these guys down. I think I should go for this guy first and foremost. Yeah. Okay. And I can even do a flurry of blows, which is uh, absolutely what monks do. Right there, and wa ta ta ta. Hey, that's a trophy. Sure. My faith will protect me. All right, Shadowheart. No, not the trickster. Firebolt. Nope. Lesser it. Ah, uh, not quite. Oh no! Our guy is dead now! Oh dear. Well. This isn't going to go well for Lazelle if I keep things as they are. Hmm. Where do I go from here? Alright, Lazelle, or uh, Zelestar, take us home! Go, go, go! Use it! I have like, what, 82 platinum trophies? Oh, hello, Mr. Dragon Man person. Uh, I'm not doing anything. I'm just, uh, hi, brother, cousin, uncle. Ah! Like what? 19 bludgeoning damage on Bass? I'm practically dead by now. Let's hold together. Swang it. We're out of here. Hardest platinum. It's probably Sonic Forces. Sheesh. There we go. Whoa! That's unusual. I say, did we wander into a Star Ocean game? Well, I can only pray that everything on board dies, except for me, I'd rather live. Ow! Should have rolled better. Ah! Oh! I think my head touched the ground there, but don't. Oh! I won't worry about it. Well, it's not often you get thrown from a octopus airship. <laughs> Saved by Polterpup. As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Niche. Did I hurt myself? Other than the infection, you're more or less intact. A miracle, given everything you've been through. But it'll all be for nothing if you don't find help soon. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. I'm all for that. All right. Finally in the game proper, albeit the wreckage of our 
octopus airship. Let's take a look around. I have a feeling we may have landed on people. Definitely some collateral damage here. Ugh. Definitely landed on people. Sorry, guy. Take your money. Yeah, now that... Shadow Heart! Are uh, you alright? Oi! Mm. Oi! Oi! Wake up! You're alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? Plot armor, I guess. I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. What happened to our good friend? You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. Should look for her. She might be injured or worse. You're more concerned for her than she is for you, clearly. We need to take care of ourselves. We need to be nice to us. others, though. Supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. Do you have an idea where we are? No. I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. Does this game have romance options? Uh, this game is nothing but romance options. Everybody horny. We want to stay together, I take it. We need each other. And we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. Alright, let's get moving. One thing. Just before we go. I wanted to thank you again. For freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod. But you didn't. I'll remember that. I'm a good dragon. Lead the way. I want to help people. See, all the other dragons, they just want to get a whole bunch of money and hold up in a cave and burn humans. I just want to be nice to everybody. That's all I want. Alright, where am I going? So many dead people. It's crazy. So many dead gold, though. Intellect Devourer. Ah, he must be from Twitter. Oh, Perfumed Letter. Sigh, I love you. There, I said it, and if you meet me tomorrow, I'll say it again and again, and I keep on saying it to Golden Grace. Let's do it like, oh, mm hmm. I don't think Anna is going to appreciate what's become of Psy. Yeah, a bottle and a fish. I'll take the fish. Oh, an ancient door, huh? Oh, another fish. Hello? We get that open easily. Maybe there's another entrance. Oh, I hope so. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just have to go this way then. More of those wretched things. Ooh, you had a lot of gold on you. They abducted so many rich people. That's hot. And that's that's combat. Alright. Stay back. One strike could be lethal. From these guys, I don't think so. Can't really do anything right now. I really want to do Frost Breath, though. It sounds so cool. Can't even hit him, I don't think. Yeah, I'll just stick here, then. I'm what the game calls a Dragonborn. I'm not an Argonian, I'm not a lizard, I'm a dragon. Bonafide, pure dragon. <laughs> okay. All right, let's firebolt these dead brains. Not bad. I'm getting surrounded here. Aha! But I'm also on fire, which is also not very good. All right, what can I hit? 
Now hit the thing. That is almost dead. Cool. We'll also have a healing potion. And that's about all I can do. I have a good dragon. I have a very good dragon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be everybody's friend. Hey, we leveled up. We leveled up. Cool. I'll take it. I need to beat this thing up. Seven? Six. Disappointed. Oh! Very disappointed. There we go. Perhaps our survival isn't such a distant prospect. I got frost breath, not fire breath. Okay. Now we can level up. Go over here, hit R1, and then we're taken to the, to the level up screen. Our dragon's name is Zelastar. Zelastar, the white dragonborn who's going to be friends to everybody. So we get health increase, another key point. We're getting key points now. Unarmored movement. Patient defense. Step of the wind and step of the wind. All right. Cool. We can do more stuff now. Everybody's British in this game. Invoke duplicity. Ho oh, oh. Health increase, level one spell slots, divinity charges, probably for cleric. Turn undead. Alright, these are all the spells we can do. Let's go ahead and just uh, start all over. We've got Shield of Faith. Protection from, from evil and good. Sanctuary. Bane. Command. Bless. Cure wounds. Healing word. Guiding bolt. Inflict wounds and create or destroy water. What's more British, uh, Baldur's Gate 3 or Xenoblade 3? Uh, so, uh, an actor who I heard in this I thought was in this game. Turns out she was in Xenoblade 3, so... They're both equally British, I'd say. They're all as British as Elden Ring is. Alright, so we'll do... Uh, cure Wounds. Inflict Wounds. Create or Destroy Water. Uh, shield of Faith. And Healing Word. That'll do it for now. Well, let's think about this game. Like, I can tell her at any point, all right, you can just piss off now. I'm going to do it on my own. You can do this game completely solo. I think that's why this garnered so many Game of the Year awards is the amount of freedom and detail that they have in the storytelling. Like, I'm wondering if this, these next few bits here are going to be different from any other playthrough I've ever done. Let's see. So we should be finding more party members around here. Like this guy. Have you? I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? Easily. Stand back. There. Can you see it? No. Oh, it's a pig. Just a dumb boar. You're relieved. Until you see the flash of a dagger. <gasps> oh, no. Put it away. We don't need to fight. Don't we? I saw you on the ship. Free. Scuttling about. You're in league with them, aren't you? Those... Tentacle. So I wondered why I know about why Asterion sounded familiar. I looked him up. He's Carl Heisenberg from Resident Evil 8. And it makes so much more sense now. But it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. What was that? What's going on? It's the Mind Flayer's worm. It's connected us. The worm. Of course. That explains things in some way. He does kind of dress like Shea Gora. Maybe he's his dad I was or something. I ready to decorate the ground with your innards. 
Apologies. Glad to see we're all caught up now. Indeed we are. Please, allow me to introduce myself. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Well, I'm Zelistar. I'm also a Baldurian too. Is that so? We clearly move in different circles. So, do you know anything about these worms? Oh, they're in me head and it hurts. I know we don't want them in our heads. No. Of that much we can be certain. These worms are already affecting me. I can feel it. Now, what to do about it? We can start by traveling together. Better odds, I'd say. You know... I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. Ah, uh, it's the guy who stole the show. Asterion. And he can level up too. He's gonna be our rogue. Someone there. He's deadly with a bow and arrow. I'm gonna make him my assassin. We've got just some cutting actions and some health increasing. Probably do more uh, on another level up. Oh yes, we're going after Miranda. Let's move. And don't let me tell. And don't uh, talk to me about that girl Rose. We need her for a power, you know. <laughs> There, a mind flayer, and it's hurt. I'm gonna hurt that it some more. Bound to be dangerous, even if injured. Best be careful. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. you oh, he did. He did Nemesis as well for RE three make. Yeah, he's done a lot of motion passion. capture work. I'm like, like, wow, a lot. Compassion. This isn't right. Step away. You can't move. Can't think. Thinking is mercifully done for you. It will be a joy to serve, to die for it, an honor. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. I don't want to love it. Slips. I don't want to love it. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Concentrate on its thoughts. Let's go deeper. R R roll an eleven. That's good. Your minds fuse, lusting for something that is gone. But then its grip claws back with a vengeance. Ah! A vice locking your mind into obedience. It needs sustenance to survive. And with your very body, you can provide. He wants to eat me! Resist the intrusion with everything you have! You can roll a three or higher, can't you, buddy? Nat 20! Ha <laughs> ha! Get out of my head, you disgusting octopus man! The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Close those eyes forever. Do die. Be dead down here. You got stuff. Oh, potion of heal. Good for it. What's this supposed to be? Ah, a yoink. Nearly every object in your inventory you can throw at enemies. This seems like a good thing to throw. Alright, let's keep moving on. That seems like a problem. Dead goblins over there. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. Another potion of healing. Ooh, goblin bow. No, I don't need any goblin stuff, but we'll take their supply pack. Be good for camping. Stay long with that room. Looks unstable somehow. You approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically. 
as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. But yet somewhat intriguing. It's beautiful. Gah! But it hurts! Jack. But! A hand? Anyone? You certainly are a hand! Uh, alright. Let's do this. There we go. Deep. Apologies. Oh, oh, oh. Usually better at this. Uh, no need to apologize. You all right? A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking, you were on the Nautiloid as well. I was yes. And I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Go on. The insertee we speak of, this parasite. Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as so my uh, death metal band, excruciating and let me gestation. You, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence you of have, a few. You can have uh, three members in your party, you, don't have you know, up to four, them. including yourself. But you can have party members hang out at your camp, and you can swap in and out whenever you want. Alright, am I one of those? Uh, well, I can't say that I am. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? That sounds like a plan. You're welcome to join me. Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. I mean, the more the oh. merrier, right? Of course. But before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. All right, we got Gale on our team. He is our wizard. A long way from Waterdeep. He can be a specialist now and learn a couple new spells. All right, we got uh, Abjuration, Evocation, Necromancy, Conjuration, Enchantment, Divination, Illusion, and Transmutation. You know, I think, uh, this guy's looking def definitely necromancy kind of guy. I don't know. There, right, I got plenty of spells here. Burning Hands, Charm Person, Chromatic Orb. Definitely gotta go with Chromatic Orb. Color spray, disguise self, expeditious retreat, false life, featherfall, fine familiar. Oh, nice knife. Huh. Don't mind that. Enhanced leap, long strider. Ooh, magic missile. That's that's a crucial one. Protection from good and evil, ray of sickness, shield, and Tasha's hideous laughter. Hmm. Alright. Keep chromatic orb and magic missile. That'll do. Now for our other spells. Yeah, we got Beige Armor, Fog Cloud, Grease, Sleep, Witch Bolt. 
chromatic orb again. Actually, oh wait, these are the spells that we're learning. I see. Let me get the ones that we learned. Witch bolt. And mage armor. And that. Cool. All right, we're all decked out. No one back home will ever believe this. Don't like how uh, rough you're feeling there, uh, Zealous Star. There we go. Is there anything more out here we can check out? Ooh, the chapel entrance. That might be worth a look. Well, what do you, what do you guys see? So I'm over here. Ah. I need a shovel to dig this up. So there are hidden, uh, there's hidden dirt mounds where there's like chests and stuff, but you need a shovel. Uh, Zealastar is a monk. So we've got a monk, a cleric, a rogue, and a wizard. Hell of a motley crew, I dare say. You both twice as tall as me, but I'm half the bloody backbone. But we don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship. And the crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we... Stop! What? Got ourselves competition already. That's our ship. Oh, mate, uh, that ship's full of monsters. I wouldn't go near it. See how uh, ch charismatic a dragon can be. Not very. Dirty one. I didn't believe that for a second. You're all hot air. Think you can get us to leave that bounty to you? Not a chance. What are you not waiting for? Get him! Well, that didn't take very long. We got four of these bastards now. Alright, four of them, three of us. We'll have Zealous Star go up here and do his stuff. Enemy. And an arm strike. Hell yeah. That'll work. Shall we cut and run? Alright, Asterion. I'm gonna take your sneak attack. Don't appear to have advantage over anybody. So we'll have to do a regular ranged attack. And you can take out this guy. Girl, I mean. Apologies, ma'am. Sorcery. With haste. Alright, Gale. Need you to do some damage here, mate. Magic missile. Do anything with that? One. Two. And perhaps three? Could have gone a little better, I admit. But I'll take what we can give. Alright, Shadowheart. On my way. It's up to you there. Can you firebolt this guy? Almost. Hey, alright. Now it's their go. Arrow of acid? You guys are playing dirty. As for you, you need to play nice. And flurry of blows. Just stay down. If you move These boots have seen everything. The dance macabre. All right. How can we go around taking this guy out? Get out of the ass in there. You really don't want to be in there. Lance board is set. Could you perhaps take any cantrips? I think a fireball is a cantrip. Can you take him out, please? 
Thank you. Well done. Right, so we got gold, we got mage armor, sleep, a staff, a robe, divination without magic. There's Quilana, you're sleeping. Cool. Too bad she's dead. I mean, I tried. I tried to be friends with her. Oh, he's got a shovel. Scale man. Ah! <laughs> Haven't had that happen yet. <laughs> well. Let's get right to it. I think this would be a great time to show off Frostbreak. Maybe get a little bit closer here, maybe. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about that now, huh? Death is but a word away. Up. Oh, that's that's my intention for this to be a full playthrough. I'm gonna try and come here once a week and get a little closer. See how long it takes. Well, now the friends are onto us. This ain't good. Ooh, wait a minute. Is that explosives? Alright, well. I don't think I have anything that's fire worthy here. Maybe I can. Alright, I'm gonna try it. Firebolt on this uh, oil barrel here. It hurt. <laughs> Ooh -hoo. I didn't kill him though. That's too bad. What am I gonna do about Shadow Heart? Is she up there? There will be VODs. They will be on the channel later. Oh, do oh, Shadow Heart. <laughs> Oh, he's dipping his sword in fire! Oh, no! Well, I guess I can still take pot shots from here, then, if that's the case. Maybe not so much my guy. Hmm. Maybe I can throw this, though. Path is interrupted. I can step over here, maybe. Still interrupted, man. And he's hurting a bit. I don't want to have him too far out. All right, retreat, oh, me. retreat. Uh, magic missile is for you. We'll go one, uh, two, three. Torment. There we go. There's blood in the air. Don't think I'm gonna attack any of these guys. You'd be surprised what I do have advantage on and what I don't. Alright, get rid of this guy. Critical miss! Man! Hey, he threw a fucking bomb. Why didn't he try to shove me? This guy's being uppity as fuck! All right, Shadowheart, you get out here. Get yourself a firebolt prepared and uh, take that guy down, yeah? Thank you. Fire out there is stopped. Ouchies. He's still trying to shove me, son of a bitch. All right. Got a problem with Zealostar here. Heal him up. And take out Hasid. Thank you. Thank you for that. Yes, very good. Gone with the weave. Back up a bit. He's not doing an attack of opportunity on me. Uh, Witch Bolt. Just, just, just Witch Bolt. Didn't do enough. Oh, it's actually still... That's right, Witch Bolt still... Uh, it still attacks if he's still concentrating on it. So maybe I can just leave him alone. Damn it! Oh. Oops. 
still concentrating on him. It's going through walls! I don't think it's supposed to do that! Hang on! That's not right! Got Mari. Almost, at least. God damn! Shit! Fury of blows. Get this bitch out of here. The witchy god. Keep the witch bolt going. That still didn't fucking kill him. Jesus. Asterion, do the honors. Thank you. Everybody have a short rest. She, he, he, heesh. Alright, let's loot some people. What'd you go? You got gold, you got poison, you got thieves' tools, a trap disarm kit. Eh, that'll be good for now. Javelin, great club, boots, gloves. Should get some rest. I need to keep sharp. Journey through the jungle. We've got fun and games. Oh, I'm not playing with permadeath. Permadeath ain't my style. But I'm gonna try and keep save scumming to like the absolute minimum here. All right, let's take a look in these ruins now. Okay, here we go. And there's still more. T there's one more dude. Where is he at? He's over here. All right, you want to get uppity? That's fine with me. Towards this way. I don't think a sneak attack can reach him, can it? Nope. Boy. Not a good turn, Asterion. Come on. The only way out is Get through. better. Well, Andorn, what you gonna do? Over here! I've killed all your friends, dude! Hopefully you'll go down easier than your friends did. Creator, destroyer. Just throw a whole bunch of fire at him. And this should finish him. Yes, critical hit even. What'd you have? Another key. It's been centuries since any prayers disturbed it. Who are those prayers for? Normally the patron god is obvious. Not here. There we got gold and a bunch of dishes. There's also a spread of food here on the table, it looks like. What is that cheese wedge? If I can yeah. I think I'll take that. You want Ancient, indecipherable text covers the plaque. What kind of place even tell. was this? Whoever worshipped here must be long gone. Hmm. I don't know about much about the religions in this place, so if anybody's got like any insight, I'd love to hear it. This is just out here. That girl totally folded in on herself. Jeez. Well, I really hope that we would have gone through here without killing people, but you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Give one more look around the uh, the old ruins there. Uh, 
As far as I know, the narrator is uh, to be trusted. Like I don't, I don't think this is one of those uh, untrustworthy narrators. Not good, not a good look for a D and D game because if you can't trust a narrator in a D and D game, well then, who can you trust? I think she's supposed to be the DM of sorts. Oh, here we go. I think this is who this shrine was for down here. You do not recognize the language on the plaque. What do we got here? Grobian Tiplet. Is there anything around here? Just a whole bunch of books here? In life, her service had been impeccable. Daily should be da, 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 da. Hmm. Aha, looter's trunk over here. That's curious. Oh, what's this? Hmm. What was that? It did something. I don't know what it did. I hope it didn't break anything. Hmm. Maybe you opened up something out here? Dank this crit. place wasn't built for the living. Mm-hmm. Stumbled upon a fine kettle of fish here. Aha! Someone's left a trap. All right, Shadowheart, do not step on the trap. I need you guys to really not step on the trap here. Because this room is filled with them. Be wary. This place is trapped. Right, let's see if we can disarm this trap here on the, on the sarcophagus. Hey, another crit! Not bad. Got the Watcher's Guide and an engraved key. Yeah, this place is just absolutely real with traps. And everyone's throwing their own specific, uh, their own rolls to see if they can detect them or not. What do you mean it's locked? I got the key! Polished ring and all that. Just too many traps here to, to, to name. Be wary. This place is trapped. Step carefully. It's so cold. Cool. Strange coin. I wonder what it's worth. Well, if there's ever a door you can't open. You can always count on lock picking it. I can crack that open. If you have enough thieves tools for it. I think we can give this a big old try. No, we can't. Well that door ain't opening. All that door does is just take us back outside. Well then, if that's the case, I think we're nearly done here. We'll go and see what's uh, on the other end of this uh, this hall over here. All right, there we go. That's the key we're looking for. Armed scribes, but no sign of a struggle. 
Voldemort was so subversive about their words that they commanded protection. Hmm. Anything to say on this plaque? The inscription is in a language unknown to you. Well, I just don't know anything, do I? I don't know nothing about nothing. I know who that guy is, but I don't know what any of his texts are. That's curious. Buttons always lead to something. Everybody knows that. Boy, did they lead to something? Help. Something just woke up down here. So there's something in here that they don't want me to know about. That's what it sounds like to me. We got four of these bastards. That seems to, that seems to be the toughest one. All right. Stereon, have you move over here. Sneak attack still not working. Range attack still not viable. Go for it anyway. Another fight. Another critical miss. Need to find a way forward. You have disappointed me for the last time. Well, this I think I'll throw the uh, spiked bull at if it can reach. Yeah, do it up. Seems like the best way. Mistral. Pawn All right, Gail. Uh, you're kind of out of spell slots, so you can't really help me too much here. Uh, we'll have you throw some fire bolts in the meantime. Take this guy up before he gets any closer. Yeah. Shadowheart. Have you do more of the same? Fifty-fifty shot, huh? Didn't think so. Silenced! Well, I can't stand there anymore. Well, he's coming to meet me. That's okay. And he's coming to meet me too. And so is he. All right, everyone's coming to say hello. Excellent. I can sneak attack this guy, which is just another uh, powerful range attack. Good stuff, good stuff. Definitely take that. No choice but to keep going. Take him out. Did you miss? I believe you. Hit him. Thank you. All right, what do you got? Scimitar, that's it. You get out of the, uh, silence area. How, how far can Ray of Frost reach ya? I'll do it up. Ooh! Not bad, Gale, not bad. And Shadowheart, you also get out of the silenced. So you can cast Firebolt on whatever guy's looking at you funny, this guy. Can you do full seven? Oh, you do five. That ain't bad. You gotta stop doing things. You got you got two separate auras of silence going on. That is nonsense, sir. All right. No sneak attack. Disadvantage on all that. Get him though. Cool. Concentration's broken. Nothing Still got one more health point easy. left. I've got no real way to go any further here. Guess I can attack this. I can attack this guy. You've made it great. I'll mistake. do that. I forgot monks have a little bit of a movement <laughs> cap to them. All right, two more guys, one over there, one over here. Gale, you go this way and take on this fella. Black. 
Yeah. Got to focus. And you go this way, Shadow Heart. You can get your firebolt and hit that guy, hopefully. No, nope, that's that path's interrupted. Okay, maybe get a little closer to that. Now can you? No, you can't. Disappointing. Or you can come to me. That's fine too. Make yourself easier to kill. That's all right. So I gotta have my guy Asterion come out here. And out of here. Want to surrender their valuables, even after death. Right, he's got a heavy key. I bet that's the one that opens the uh, the door on the other side there. I don't think they really had anything else, did they? Yep. Zelda, come on. Okay, they didn't have anything. So let's see what they were trying so desperately to hide. A lot of effort to hide one sarcophagus. Yeah, what's in here? Oh, there better not- Oh, there's somebody in here. Oh, no. Oh. Hello. So, he has spoken. And so thou standest before me, right as always. Pardon me? What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Well, that's a loaded question. Uh, quite the question. What's the reason for it? Curiosity. Nothing more. Wilt thou answer my question? Yes, ask away. So, I ask again. What is the worth of a single mortal life? That depends on a person's deeds. I am sure thou believest as such. Very well. I am satisfied. This is a much kinder we Vecna, I'd, I'd argue. <laughs> and I know my face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. Well, that guy's gonna pop back at our camp. Ordinarily we get him automatically. But this is how we get him in this playthrough, I suppose. Hmm. Alright, there's one more event I want to do before we sign off for the day. I want to get to this next town up here. I gotta do one more encounter. I think we're gonna be okay enough to take care of it, but... Just want to do that, and then I think that'll be enough for the day. I knew it. So the heavy key brings us back out here. So we're back at it all, all over again. Alright. Let's get back to that town and hopefully not have any more uh, crazy surprises on our way. We can cut through here. The uh, very bracing evening sun. Oh, another mind player. Oh no. It's all so violent. Everybody's like dead. Ow. And that hurts. I think I hate it. My, my foot touches a little bit of cinder and I'm burning for an hour. 
That's where the dead uh, Nine Flare was. Got rid of him. Let's try heading up here. Convenience says stairs. Go, oh, come on, Zelestar, you're fine. Well, you guys jumped. I guess that should have been the obvious choice then. I hear shouting up ahead. Oh, I do too. We should check it out. Yes. But be careful. Oh no. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! Oh no. By the nine hells, open the gates. <clears throat> well, this isn't good. We got uh we, we got it we got a big old fight on our hands now it seems. Alright, Asterion. What kind of sneak attack can you do? How is your path interrupted? How can you not attack from up here? Are you stupid? Alright, well maybe I can take him at least. Yeah, we'll get this bugbear. Never a fan of bugbears. It's not the time to miss! Get to the high ground! Raiders! Fully absolute! Zelostar, please! Alright, get rid of that guy. Maybe I can hop down here and do a little flurry of blows on ye ass. Sweet. And then come back up here to be safe. See if I can have my dudes just do a little bit of sniping. Okay. I will firebolt one of these guys. These guys are taken care of all right. There's only three left. These three fellows. Okay. She's doing okay. He's doing okay. I'm gonna have a See if I can't take out that guy. Eh, not quite. There's four left. I didn't see that work that work there. There's five. Oh, my eyes aren't doing good. All right, look up out there. One, two, three, four, five guys left. All right. Seems easy enough. Take him out. No! Take him out! Kill him! <laughs> Grease, really? What are you gonna do? Throw a fire on us and burn us all alive now? Alright, Asterion. You sneak attack anybody from up here. But you cannot. What about the guy uh, gunning towards us? 
killing me here, buddy. Come on. It's difficult terrain. Excellent. Whatever. There. Got him at least. Oz, come on. Ramira. I really don't want you to die. But you're trying to, though. Okay. Can't really do much. I'm nearing death here. So the best I can do is just kind of get out of the way. Let everyone else do their work. Oh, wow. Well done. Firebolt again. Get it on this guy. Come on now. Fuck's sake. Ah, I don't know what you did there, but that was pretty impressive. Alright, good. Uh, Ray of Frost. Help him out there. Good. Yeah, there's definitely the one left. It's just one goblin, guys! Come on! It's just one stinking goblin! There we go. That was the last of them. Inside! All of you! More may follow! Open the gate! Taste of goblins to come, I fear. No, oh, well. Must be a horde nearby. Shadowheart fell in the grease. You alright? Come on. Well, the goblins are now well and truly defeated. I'm exhausted. Better find somewhere to camp soon. Oh, we are. Don't worry. Get a couple of spoils here and there. Oh, gloves of power. A yeah. couple of things, maybe. All right. In we go. here you fool we was running for our lives you led them straight to us and you let them take the druid too unbelievable all right what's going on here one fight just ended and you're picking another relax tell that to the dead at the gate the dead Shut goblins i'd be lying dead next to the goblins if you'd stalled any longer my duty is to this camp Oh, God forbid you risk your precious tail. But I shouldn't be surprised. I like my Foul bloods ain't known for courage. You see the tiefling's jaw clench. He's about to erupt. More violence won't bring back those you lost. Stop and think. Call it off, people. Uh, oh dear, this ain't gonna go well. With a thump, the armored man collapses, unconscious. Oh dear. Enough. The goblins have found us. No doubt the beasts will be back. We need to pack up and leave. Immediately! These bigger fighting goblins as they did each other, for once. Let's try to avoid any more punching. We need to find a healer. Well, the only bit of healing we can do for now is going to camp. We can take a long rest. You need uh, a certain amount of supplies in order to actually heal yourself for a long rest. But we have more than enough right now. So when you go to a long rest, your position is remembered and you're taken to this campsite here. This is where all your party members and all your friends and everybody else hangs around while you do the main story. And as you can see, Somebody wants to speak with us already. There's two gales. 
Neat trick. Not a trick, my friend. Magic. It's a magic trick. Be that as it may. Ceramorphosis. What does it make you think of? Well, until quite recently, nothing at all. Ah, yes. The good old days. Day one, fever and memory loss. Day two, hallucinations and graying skin. Day three, hair loss and blood leaking from all orifices. Need to go on? Yes. Day four, excruciating pain as the skeleton and organs reform and reposition. Day five, the host personality has disappeared. Fingers and toes and limbs elongate. I take it you get the picture? I've heard enough. Can't say I blame you. My point is this, our orifices remain blissfully unblooded, our heads remain clear, and our blood temperature normal. Any expert will agree, this is abnormal. Long live the abnormal. I'll toast to that. The pragmatic in me, however, sees only the silence before the storm. Something to sleep on. We should get some rest. D Whoa! Right, but... Maybe keep all that stuff to a minimum next time. So. We'll cut things here for now. And we'll go to sleep. And take on a new day. Next time when we meet. For Baldur's Gate 3. Thanks for coming guys. And we'll see you next time.